Just a couple days ago, we got some very exciting new product announcements from Nest, which is Google's smart home company. I'm sure you're familiar with it, especially with their thermostat. But they hadn't really released that many new products lately. I mean, they released the Nest IQ cam, but that was pretty much it. Until now, they announced about five or six new products. So that's what we're gonna talk about. Some of these are pretty interesting, and I like the way we're, they're moving with this. Even if some of the products are a bit debatable in how useful they are, I think at least it's nice that they're making an effort to make new stuff. Starting off, I think probably the most interesting new product is the Hello Doorbell. So this is not a new thing, smart doorbells that do video, but now Nest has entered the ring, and the idea is, that this thing is just a doorbell that you connect and replace with your regular doorbell, except this will connect to the Nest app. It has a camera on it that does HD video. So when you press the doorbell, it will actually ring your regular doorbell and also send you a notification and show you who's at your door. And it can also do face detection and person alerts. So even if someone walks up to your door, doesn't ring it and walks away, it will still tell you about that event, which is great for sometimes a thief might be casing a house and they just wanna see what's going on, but they don't ring the doorbell, obviously. That would probably deter them a little bit more. A couple more unique features to the Hello Doorbell are first nap mode, which I think is neat, which is you can disable the regular doorbell from ringing, so you'll only get a push notification on your phone. So, I don't know, if you have a kid that's sleeping, you can disable it so it's not gonna wake them up, but you'll still get a notification if someone rings your doorbell. Pretty neat and clever. And also, you'll have the ability to use canned responses. So it does have a microphone where you can talk to someone through it if, I don't know, you're saying, hey, you can leave the package there, or you can have an automatic robot voice read out some predetermined messages and say the same thing. So that's pretty neat as well. It'll be interesting to see how this Hello Doorbell stacks up against things like the Sky Bell or the Ring Doorbell, which has several models, which have already been in the market for quite a while. Although I honestly, just by seeing this Hello Doorbell and the things they talked about initially, it, I think this would be a good choice, although they haven't released the price and it'll probably be out sometime next year. The next product coming out is the Nest Outdoor IQ Cam. So very similar to the Indoor IQ Cam, which is the upgrade over the regular Nest Cam. And we kind of knew that they would make an outdoor version of this. And the difference between this and the previous outdoor cam is that it has a 4K sensor. But like the indoor one, it doesn't actually record in 4K. It's very unfortunate. It basically super samples and then converts it to 1080p and then uploads that. It does allow you to zoom in with 4K, but I didn't even find it worked that well. It is noticeably sharper, I think, but it's not 4K versus 1080p quality because of the compression. That being said, I do think this is a very nice upgrade over the previous outdoor cam for a couple reasons. First of all, the way the wire is mounted. Instead of in the previous version, you would have this external wire that was exposed and you'd plug it in. Now the wire actually goes right through the base plate and you're supposed to put it right into the wall. So there's no more exposed wire on the outside at all. So making it a lot less likely for someone to be able to cut the wire or something like that. I think that's a really nice move. It'll obviously take a little bit more to install it. You might need someone to professionally install it to drill through the wall and do the cable work, but I think in the end, it'd be much more beneficial. Also with this improved sensor, you're gonna get HDR, so high dynamic range. And I did notice with the indoor IQ cam, the dynamic range was significantly better than the regular Nest Cam. So even though maybe the detail wasn't super improved, at least the high dynamic range was a real improvement. And also it has brighter infrared, so at night, that's also gonna be very helpful. And of course, like the indoor IQ Cam, this is also going to allow person alerts and facial detection, so it can potentially distinguish between different people and maybe not alert you if it knows that you're the one walking up, but I didn't always find it to be perfect. Sometimes it thought that I was multiple people, but I mean, it's better than nothing. 
Next up, Nest announced a whole suite of security products for an alarm system they're calling Nest Secure. The main central unit is called the Nest Guard, and it's basically an alarm. It's like a little box thing. It almost looks like a Google Home, where you just plug it in, and that is kind of like the hub. And unlike a regular traditional alarm system, this doesn't seem to connect to anything like a service that will be able to call the police for you. So that's kind of a bummer. It does basically just make a loud noise. And I guess the idea is you'll be able to get the notification if it detects someone walking in that's not supposed to, and then you can look at the cameras and stuff and then call the police yourself. Might not be that big of a difference. I mean, if your alarm goes off, usually the company calls you anyway. So I, I mean, it'll still work maybe if someone is in an apartment that doesn't have an alarm system built in. Obviously on the top, you can see it has a keypad for typing the code to arm and disarm it. It also has a motion sensor built in and will connect with the other security devices that I'm about to talk about. The first is the Nest Tag, which I actually think is pretty cool. It's basically like a white NFC chip that you can hold over the Nest Guard and then that will disable the alarm. So you don't have to type in a code or anything. So the idea is you can give it to your kids or whatever and then as soon as they get home, they can swipe it over the thing without having to remember any codes. It just makes it a lot easier. Also, if you wanna give it to, I don't know, someone watching your house while you're away, that way you don't have to give out your code and then you can get the tag back at the end. And then the other product they talked about was the Nest Detect, which is basically just a motion sensor that sticks up and you can also use it as a door or window open and close detector, kind of like how you might see now where it's two things and when they get separated, it knows that. I think Samsung SmartThings has something like this already. So it'll also notify you if that happens. So you don't have to necessarily have cameras all over the place you can at least know if a door opens that way. So those three things make up the Nest Secure Alarm System. I think it might be nice in some situations where you don't need super tight security. That would probably still be best with an alarm system that's built in your house because those things are loud. I mean, your neighbors can hear it. This, I mean, it's a little box. It's like, how loud can it really be? So it's probably more, again, like a deterrent but I guess all alarm systems are. The final new product Nest has, which actually they announced a little while ago before, is the Thermostat E. So obviously the Nest Thermostat was like their flagship product. It was one of the first things they came out with, and it's a learning thermostat, but it was pretty expensive. $250 is the latest model, and they wanted to, I guess, release a more budget version. So this one is $169. And I actually think this is pretty cool because it has basically all the same features. It does the learning and the design actually looks pretty awesome in my opinion, maybe even better than the regular thermostat. It has a more frosted front, not like the LCD screen. So it shows more basic information, like pretty much just the temperature. And then it's also only comes in white. And I guess the idea is that you can put this on a wall and it's supposed to blend in a lot better than the previous thermostat, which would definitely be contrasted with the wall. The only other difference that it doesn't have is the far sight, so that's not a big deal. That just is the thing where it would motion detect if you're pretty far away and show some info on the screen. But if that's the only thing missing from this cheaper one for saving almost 100 bucks, I don't know, this might actually be a pretty darn good deal. So those are all the new products, and I think it's great that Nest is expanding the new line, and they also have been allowing more devices to work with Nest. This isn't something new, but you can also use it with things like Philips Hue, and LifeX, and Lutron bulbs, and that sort of thing. So you can connect all the smart home devices together, so maybe now, if your alarm system goes off, it will turn on all the lights. And you could do that before where if it detected motion, it would turn on the lights, but it all just adds together and can enhance it. I think that's pretty much all there is to say. I'm interested in what other new devices Nest might come out with. I really hope they keep expanding their line because personally, the Nest devices I buy, even though they are pretty expensive, I think they're pretty good quality and they do put out devices that seem to work well and are reasonably reliable. So if they put out other stuff like smart locks that aren't just third party, that would be pretty neat as well. In any case, you guys can let me know what you think down in the comments. Are there any smart devices you would love Nest to see? We can talk about that down there. 
If you wanna keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here. You can just click on those. And if you wanna subscribe, I make a few new videos every week. And also consider enabling notifications by clicking the bell, because otherwise YouTube might literally not even show you the new videos anyway. So again, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. And as usual, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.